As Chef Mark is celebrating the launch of the new Seat Arona, which is a very stylish SUV proudly made in Spain, which is where we are heading for today's dish. That's right, and we've got probably, if you think Spain, you think food, mm -hmm. what do you think? Um, paella. Yeah, exactly, yeah. and that's what we've got on the menu today. So we're doing a classic paella. We've got chicken in there, we've got prawns in there, we've got some chorizo in there. Yeah. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. A few vegetables, all cooked in one pan. Nice. Okay, I go to the like French that. markets. I know oh French. I go to the French markets and I usually Spanish get Spanish the... week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But I go to the French markets and I get my paella there, or oh, however yeah. you're supposed to say it. Uh, so it'll be nice to make it from scratch. Really looking forward to this, and we will get the recipe and get cracking a little later on. Great to have you with us. We are in the Beko kitchen, and we've got a week of sumptuous Spanish food this week, Mark, as we celebrate the stylish Spanish SUV, the Seat Arona, which you can see right there. Beautiful car. It's just arrived in New Zealand. Hopefully, I get to take one home soon for a bit of a burn. But we're going to take the kitchen for a bit of a burn now, aren't we? Because we are making... We won't be doing any burning. We won't be doing any burning. Okay, cool. Just classy food like that car. So what are we making? Right, we're going to make a, a paella. A paella. <laughs> paella? <laughs> or paella, as people say. But it's a classic Spanish dish. It's full of fantastic food. So we've got trince, we've got chorizo, we've got chicken. We've got so many ingredients going on and here. The, yeah, and, and, and it's like one word, but there's so many different recipes. Mm, love it. You know, you can you just do seafood ones, meat ones. You know, you do it with squid ink, so it's all black. Right, okay. You know, it's, it's fantastic. And um, it's all done in one pot, is it? All done in one pot. One pot. So it's all cooked together. We like that. And we're starting off by dicing some onions and putting some alpha one in the pan. We're going to yeah, sweep right, down so the onions. Yeah, we're going to sweat down these. So onions go in. You can keep an eye on those. Okay, cool. Nice Get work. And then we'll um, add, add some garlic as well. Quite like the idea of doing a Spanish week. Ooh, I'm so excited. What tomorrow. are we doing tomorrow? Oh, well, you just have to wait and, uh, wait and see. Wait but and we've got see. another classic Spanish dish. Okay, well, that's good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Spanish and we got week. a goodie midweek. We've got a great one as well, oh, you, which, nice. which you'll love, and even Mel's going to love it as well. Oh, fantastic. Something sweet. Okay, what did you just put in right, the Right, so that was a bit of paprika. Okay, cool. Right, so uh, Spanish food, lots of uh, paprika in there, you know, so we've got it in here as well. Right, and chorizo. Yum. So, really nice. So this is, a, this is like a cured dried one. Okay, so I'm just going to dice that up, so that's going to give us a nice authentic um, flavour. And then I've also got chicken. We're going to put some chicken in there because I know yep. you like chicken. Do. And we are going to put some prawns in there as well. So it's a bit of a surf and turf mm -hmm. one. But, you know, if you, if you don't want any meat in there, you can leave the meat out. Put more. You can put fish yeah. in there, mussels in there. You know, anything you want, you know, squid. It's pretty much... Um, you know, once once you get into it, and once you cook one with a recipe, you can just uh, you, can, you know you can go off piste and put anything you want in yeah, there. Yeah, true. Or you can take things out you didn't like the first time around. Exactly. Okay, exactly. great. Right, Shreza goes in there, so we're going to keep cooking that down. And the beauty with this is because we're going to cook it in one pot, all those flavours from yes. all these ingredients as they cook, it's all going to go into the rice. Nice. Okay, great. Chicken as well. Right, yeah. Chuck that into. You cut it into. Yeah, so just just chunks. just cut it up into chunks. You know, yep. you just just sort of rough and ready. Right, get that in, and. Uh, We'll crank up the heat a little bit, and we're just sort of lightly browning it. Okay. You know, not not too wor uh, worried about it. You know, you don't so need don't to get need to too much. Right. No, no, we're not going to cook it. The, the whole the whole pot's going to bake all the rice in there. We're going to put a lid on there. We've got stock and we've got tomatoes in mm. there, so it's all going to bake <laughs> together. So a piece of chicken like that, you know, is is going to be um, fully cooked. Okay, so brown it up. So, so that's so great. Yeah. Paprika, chorizo, onion, a little bit of garlic. Did I see you put it? Yeah, a little well? bit of garlic in there as well. Yeah, and we've got a uh, chicken in here. Yeah, and then a, time. yeah, we've got a bit of uh, capsicum, so I'm just going to dice this up as it, as it's um, as we're cooking that. And then once we sort of you know coloured the chicken lightly, we're going to start adding our stocks. So we've got some chicken stock we're going to put in, and I've got some tomatoes as well. So just a can of tomatoes. You know, if you don't want it tomatoey, just do all stock. You know, if you don't want the meat in there, you can use a fish stock or a vegetable stock. You know, it's entirely up to you. And I've also got a little bit of saffron as well, which we're going to put in a little bit later. Fancy. So, yeah, but, but you know, saffron is one of those ingredients, you know, it, it features quite a lot in Spanish in, in uh, cookery. Now, just before people start racing off and looking in their cupboards for whether or not they can make this tonight, how long does it take to actually cook in total? Oh, I mean, you probably want to cook the rice for about sort of 15, 20 minutes, um, and then we're going to add the prawns in, so another 10 minutes as well. Um, so, you know, probably in total, you can have it sort of well to go in about 40 minutes. Oh, well, brilliant. There you minutes. go. There you go. It sounds perfect on a, uh, you know, winter's night, isn't it? Glass of wine in hand and a little bit of cooking. Perfect. Oh, that'd be nice in there. Yeah. A bit of wine, we forgot oh, that. <laughs> right, and then we've got some rice in there, so the rice is going to go in. I guess you just put it in straight away like yeah, that. Okay. Straight in there. Right, so you can give that little little stir around. We'll get some uh, salt and pepper in there now. 
Okay. And then we're going to start adding our stocks. So I'm just going to add the uh, chicken stock in there. You give it a good season. We yep. want to bring this up to the boil and then we're going to turn it down, put a lid on and start slowly cooking it. Okay, cool. Well, I'll season away and of course you can get the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. But we need to finish off our Spanish dish today, our paella, 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 I can't say it. <laughs> this really, this really Spanish beautiful, rice dish. yes, this very dish. beautiful Spanish rice dish, um, which we all love. And this, well, what's the difference between this and a risotto then? Well, it's all going to be cooked in one uh, pot and it's going to be, it's going to absorb all those flavours. So right. it's going to be like a, it's more of a rice dish than right. a, a, a risotto. Okay, which great. Which is a rice dish. Yeah, no. Which is a bit wetter. <laughs> yeah. oh, but wetter. There you go. Okay, cool. And it's from Italy, not Spain. Oh, nice. Can we lift the lid? Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, so we, so we brought it up to the boil. So it's just cooking. A um, little bit of sugar goes in now and some tomatoes. So a can of tomatoes. Yeah. Get that in so you can give that a good stir around. Jeez, it smells so good. And then we're going to turn down the heat and then I'm just going to pop my um, prawns in now. Okay. And I'm going to put some beans and some capsicum in. Yum. And then I'm just going to pop the lid on and then I'm just going to keep cooking it until all that becomes sort of all absorbed and all dry. Right, so if you're doing this at home, how early before you finish would you put the prawns in? Ten minutes before? Oh, you yeah, yeah pre it? probably about ten minutes before, okay, yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, and the, and the beans. Okay, cool. So just chop them up. You know, this gives us a nice contrast. Mm. So you're going to get some nice crunchy vegetables. Great. You know, if you don't like your beans too crunchy, you can cook them a little bit longer. Um, but if, you know, it's always nice to keep them, you know, a little bit of texture in there. So I'm going to pop the prawns on. This looks amazing. So you can see all those flavours in there. Mm. So it's still quite wet. I mean, it's not, it's not really runny. No. And then we'll just pop that down. Give it another li little bit of salt and pepper just on top because of those prawns. And then, all right, get the lid back on. Okay. And, and then, then we'll bring it up to the boil. <clears throat> and because you, the whole reason why the lid is you sort of steam in at the same time as it's absor right. absorbing. Right, and, and then we've got a little bit of parsley to finish. Okay, and you're just going to sprinkle that on the top when you serve? Yeah, yeah, just yep. when you serve because it's right. a soft green herb. If you put it in now, it'll go brown. Okay, don't put it in now then. And this is a great dish to put on the family table at dinner time and everyone can help themselves. You get a lot, don't you? Well, yeah, no, it's, it was Good. communal dining, you know. And if you go to Spain, you know, especially like in, in summer, you know, all around the harbour, every restaurant does uh, paella. So you can go in and it's, you know, all the fresh catch from the boats, you know, just gets put on this dish and it's, it's amazing. You get huge ones, you know, like massive ones like that. I, I mean, to love share, it. Not, not for yourself. <laughs> yeah, well, I could <laughs> probably do one myself if it smells anything like this. Um, so now that you've been to Spain, experienced a little bit of it. Oh, like, I love Spain, yeah. Yeah. What do you love about the food over there? Uh, it's just fresh. Right. Fresh seafood, fresh flavours, really simple. Just nice. It's nice. really good. You know, not not uh, too much faffing around. You know, okay. It's good. Nice. So we're going to be in for a great week then, aren't we? Yeah. Great week no, no, it's going to be a great food, week. Lovely Spanish dishes. This is going to brew along nicely as we finish off the show, so we'll show you towards the end. Uh, thank you, Mark. He's got all the garnishes ready. And if you would like to get the recipe, just go to thecafe.co.nz. Speaking of sounding great, it's been smelling fantastic. It's Chef Mark's power. <laughs> I, think, I think we're just about there, so we're just going to check it. So look oh, at that. Oh, look at that. So you can see all the liquids evaporated. Give it a little stir around. Oh my goodness. So it's all about presentation now. So, and we're going to serve it in the pot. So all we need to do, sprinkle a little Beautiful. bit of lemon juice around. Yes. A little bit of lemon on the side Yum. and that chopped parsley over the top. Yum. And there you go. Okay, great. And then... Beautiful, authentic. Oh. That's amazing. And look what I managed to find, Mel. One, oh, how convenient. <laughs> one for you and one for Holly. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, uh, look, this is fantastic. Really enjoying Spanish week. So what are you going to do tomorrow? Right, tomorrow we've got another classic. Uh, we're doing a fritter, uh, an omelette, and a patatas bravas. Okay. Oh, what's patatas bravas? Uh, fried potatoes with mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs>